Welcome to chapter 18. I am the Danish warrior Skald and playing the Jutes. <laughs> we are still in this kind of stalemate here with the four Hunnish armies outside Gojiskansa where I keep one army prepared for them. Uh, we got a good uh, garrison here as well. Um, and um, <clears throat> then I got two small armies and a general here um, a bit away to kind of <laughs> support and um, that's the situation I got some of my allies the Danish king here with or yeah I don't know what happens here and a small depleted army from the Danes the Varinians the Gungeons Varinians <clears throat> so that's the situation down here we got two depleted uh, <laughs> Burgundian armies mm, down here we also got a Hunnish army they are annoying the Langobards if we follow the coastline what have we got I got the wooden men here the Danes um, at Angulos, four units. I got For the <clears throat> my general Antor here, and uh, you can see we got the Franks. We take a look at the British Isles. We got the Caledonians, uh, the pigs up here as well, and again the pigs are here at Iborcon and desolate, desolate uh, Ibdanian, so here I think, yeah, and here we got, if I can get it, Western Roman, uh, Western Roman separatists, down here we have at Watermarkers we got a uh, presentation of Britain, actually some small armies, here we have blood swarms and the embers uh, of the Geats, Here's uh, the Abdanians again. Here in Septimania. Uh, it seems as if we have. Just a second. The Romans. No. We have Septimania, sorry. And uh, here we got the Franks at Luctunum. Here we got Western Roman Empire at Bordigala and Elusa. And that's pretty much and Pompeiello, also the small uh, navy of uh, the Geats down here. And that's more or less what we can see. Um, the Franks are also down here at Sigusio, Mediolanum, Mediolanum is still in the hands of the Western Roman Empire. Here we've got the Gepets, and uh, what more? It looks as if Fiorentia and uh, Ravenna, Roma, Neapolis all belongs to um, Italia. And just a second, I have a cat that wants to get out. I'm back, the cat is out and everything. So uh, yeah, here at Aquilaia, we got the Venetians, small force with the Illyrian king, the Visigoths, Illyria again, here was the Gibbets. Yeah, we actually got the Vandals here at Ubotsis. And here at Kasugis we got the Langobards as I mentioned before. And apart from that, there's not so much to see. We got Macedonia here. With the Roman rebels here and at Salona, as far as we know. And that's more or less it. everything else is desolate. And of course we got these two small <laughs> Armies, white hunters, and the heralds of the great giant uh, from the Danes. 
they are recruiting I think still a bit interesting so why do we see so should there be a general here or what uh, something I don't understand so raiding at Gudiskansa in Gudiskansa <laughs> the will of Tenkri the Huns yeah they've been doing that for a while Sini my faction leader diplomatic tone this woman has said it for pers persuasion and sensible compromise trade income plus 20% trade agreement tariffs good and rank gain for Askel and uh, I can reach him here I think Askel isn't he one of my governors yes he is so let's have a look Oh, that is very nice. Um, so, as governor, yeah, less corruption. And better construction. I wonder how to get this sentinel. Would that be that you need to have both this and that and that before you can yeah probably need uh, I don't know I can't go down here I can't pick if I uh, I can't pick it right now so nothing to do about that yeah married with Sini so um, Apart from that, Askel, Askel. <laughs> so try to make him a judge. Why not? Why not? Yep. Yeah. And Ingemar, Elgout, turn in August 6 out of 8. Right, Elgout, Asphalt, Elf, Antor, and Ibar. Good. I think that's what. No, Antor has quite a low loyalty. So, nope. Nope. Uh, no, not really. Strange they're not having any children, you might say, but... Uh, how old is she? 60? <laughs> That's perhaps the explanation. <laughs> she looks a bit younger, and uh, <clears throat> he's 46. <laughs> hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we suffer some bad public order here at the moment because I moved my general here I could move him back ready for orders can I recruit could recruit elk out here could would I yeah he will not cost me anything hmm and reinstate the legacy of the war goals here. Warriors all. Why not? And let's have a look at diplomacy, but I don't think there will be much to do here. <laughs> They're getting more and more hostile, the Burgundians. Yeah. Hmm. 
So, just a second. So the Burgundians. Yeah. The capital is here. Escalcalis just wanted to be sure. Alarms, alarms, alarms. <laughs> Very weak. Now, hmm. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat, not honey. Nope. Greetings, friend. I have called for good ale to ease your throat and, ha, ah, ripe women to ease other parts. Um, no. <clears throat> you honor us. There is food enough for two armies awaiting us when we have talked. And the Danes and the Ebdanians. And they... <laughs> Are you brave or foolish? Or just mad? Well, speak. I will listen before I turn you inside out. Fighting the Garamantians, it's a bit strange. A bit strange. Gods of the afterlife, spare my ass. Well, why do you trouble my digestion today? <laughs> oh, gods above, witness that my honor is unstained. Even as I accept this <laughs> offer, as I must for my people. As I must attack the Huns. Interesting, uh, interesting. What the... No. No. But... Uh, <clears throat> even an unfriendly faction going with us against the Huns can be very useful improving as well now so greetings in the name of the state and so <laughs> forth now what do you want if it wasn't because i am so under pressure by the hearts <laughs> remarks like that would definitely make me want to <laughs> erase the Gore from the surface of Earth for that kind of remarks. Hmm. Well, yeah. The Caledonians. The Gibbets. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with honey. Speak plainly, and I will Those deal honestly. Them. Flatter, and you fail. Something I would like to know. Do not about. attempt to sweeten <laughs> truth with honey. Speak plainly, flatter, and <clears throat> you fail. No. What I wanted to see was just that <clears throat> you can't gift uh, the Huns uh, any. Um, Yeah, they are not only a horde and currently migrating and has no regions, they they can't have regions uh, as far as I know. 
for sale, so I should be able to give them gorgeous guns. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good idea, but uh, yes, yeah, Sukas. Speak. Do not waste time. Better spend hunting. Hunting. Speak your terms. Give words plentiful haste. Other business calls this day. And they like the Huns. Interesting. And Italia. Hmm. Welcome, but expect scant pl Nope. Come, come. Let me hear your talk. I warn you, I have no stomach for the meek or nice. Not really interested in anything that I can give at the moment. So the pits. <laughs> Welcome. Speak. Come on. Right, but then what about joining war against the Huns? No. Britain. No. You don't need me to access just Septimania. You are welcome, but that welcome can become a farewell. Welcome, but expect scant pleasantries. I lack time to waste. Mm-hmm. No, they don't want to go to war. They would like me to join their war against Garamantia. Uh, hmm. Would they pay me for that? Is that smart? <clears throat> to get more enemies at the moment, I don't really know. Hmm. I'm not sure really. Garamanta, can we? No, we haven't been in contact with them. Training with the Franks, actually. Allied with Markmans, wherever they are. Greetings in the name of the state and so forth. Now, what do you want? Right, let's do that. Nope. Nope. Um. No. The Bentons here, the Brillians here, the, the Venetians. Oh, they are very, very weak. You honor us. There is food enough. My people are in danger. Can you not mm -hmm. join with us and attack these dogs? The Visigoths. Tell your Hans Visigoths, they actually allied with the Langobards as well. Hmm, the Visigoths. Yeah, the Visigoths. No.
poor Venetians. You honor us. There is food enough for two armies await. Welcome, I suppose. No, do mm -hmm. not sit. That is for us and for friends. Right. That was it, and I guess let's end the turn. The way is shut. Are they going for Escalcalis now? Or what? Oh. <laughs> that sound was a good sound. That was the sound of one Honish army. war on side of my ally the Venetians. Wars of the Wolf Father. Yeah, attrition. Ingvar. Damien's declared a war on Britain. Interesting. Yeah, targets lost. And, and the Venetian. So, um, that was very brave. Let's. Um, let's have a new war target on. Yeah. That army. No. Then And of course they use them because they don't cost them anything. <laughs> That's uh almost nice to have units with no upkeep at all. That uh, makes everything very <laughs> uh, uh, not more easy. <laughs> Guess that's because I'm playing at legendary that uh, the enemies have no upkeep or something. <laughs> but my ally lies, uh, they have upkeep. But it's the enemy AIs or, or whatever. Makes them a bit tough to fight when they got free armies. Here we've got another. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Good. Let me have a look here. Seven now. Asphalta. They look very much the same, but let's try to promote him. Elf, Antor and Ivar and that's it. For the tribe. Sixty men, hundred and sixty men. The upkeep is cheaper. The Nordic Brigade, they are very cheap. They are also hundred and sixty men. Very low upkeep for the frail skirmishers. So just for public order. We need good fighters. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? They will be cheap. Yeah, my popcorn is ready getting better and better. I could, might auto here. Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Let me have some frail <laughs> skirmishers just to maintain the public order and mm, yeah it's in the turn oh is that an agent or what no I don't have agents I just want the sign here Maybe it's that of the Gordis Cancer. Yeah, it is, sorry. Yeah, and the revenge of the Huns. Yeah. Here it comes. Let's try to retreat and see if anything. Yeah, of course. And let's retreat. Try retreat again. Gathering supplies. Just to see if I reach <clears throat> anything that. Fall back. Journey completed. Then they properly attack again, or what? My plan was. If I was lucky to get so close to Godis Gansa, retreating that they, uh, my armies could be support, supported. Sorry, by that one, and <laughs> it seems as if it worked. I'd probably just 
have lost uh, those two armies and uh, the third general. Matter of state, the feast, subject Frodi. My lord, we should hold a fabulous feast, inviting all the great and good of the land to marvel at our splendor. Uh, what splendor? And lasting for 90 days and nights, who should win? Why? Uh, engage in fact politics. Uh, right. A great deal of political back scratching. Good. Elder. And we Tax loss. Diplomatic circumstances have detailed that we have lost a common enemy with our allies. Their positions may no longer be targeted for war coordination through diplomacy. So, hmm. yeah, I have to think about that. Is something happens? Uh, Whatever it was, foreign seats methods and technology tier achieved, military 2, and gain for Inkibar. Warriors all! My general here. <laughs> Ammunition. Well. Every well can't use that really. Integrity, mm, yes. Did we have one point there and one there? <clears throat> so what is actually happening diplomatic circumstances like yeah <laughs> Okay, Frodi, <laughs> the feast. <laughs> Ignore the request. Now is not a good time for such frivolous things. No, invite our neighbors. Invite our neighbors. Invite our allies. We haven't got much neighbors, it will be our allies. Uh, so, what? What happened here? Um, <laughs> I don't really get what happened to that uh, war target for diplomatic reasons of what some strange strong enough and <laughs> I don't know if that third army where did it go why can't it have it uh, as a war target anymore uh, is it ambushing all that I don't know it it would be it is tempting to attack here Have a look. Hmm. 
battle initiation. Yeah. The concentration of your forces in this region is inflaming the rivalries within the horde. Food consumption minus 10. Wealth plus 10 from all horde buildings. <clears throat> so they consume more food because of the rivalry with other Hunnish armies or what? Hmm. Mass migration. Yeah, so it will. It will reinforce. for battle. Just a second. For the tribe! Move out! Ready for orders. Get moving! Thirsty for battle! Can we in any way support Ready! Rogue of Persia! We still have a wind! Beat the drums! And... <clears throat> Attack. Step a spearman. They just got horse archers <laughs> and they got quite a bit. Their lances, cataphracts. Yeah, and even more. Hmm. And then a lot of more horse archers here. as if I'm I would 
loose if uh, I ought to resolve it. It's, it's a property. They will just <laughs> rush my. This army will just be be rushed by by all the horses, won't it? I got a little infantry here, and a lot of <laughs> a lot of dogs. I would yeah hmm. just a second let me, let me retreat and have a look Tired. <laughs> if I attack them first, would it be like an ambush or what? Ready for orders. That was what I thought. On the move, lads. Thirsty for battle. <laughs> to battle. Oh my God! I didn't. Yeah. Oh my. I didn't Ready really. No, that is not a good idea. When your feet bleed, you can moan. No, that was uh, ready for orders. I don't care how tired you are. It would only be that army won't it. That attacks. I can't see anything. Yeah, it will. No. Fall back. No. Thirsty for battle. On the move, lads. <laughs> Go to Ready for battle. Let's go, Callis. For the tribe. And for the tribe. If I replace Hook Liger with what, which I can't, <laughs> no, they, they're probably going to be smashed, I think now, but um, yeah, let's see, military tier 2, in the tier 2, can be moved rates plus 8%, and uh, I think we should go with community markets then. To have a civic, and uh, now we've got problems with money. Let me see, so improving. Nice to see. Alliance, uh, well met, friend. 
Whatever Satan, you let your words move me to anger or agreement nope. as you wish of them. No. Nope. Mm, nothing. Ginians, Burgundians. Hmm. Caledonians. Improving. Good. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. No. Right, it's improving. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. So be quick with your chattering. No, I don't think so. And the Franks improving. Good. Very good. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are known to have honor. No trade, no military access. Britain. Hmm. Nope. Gore, gore, gore. Speak your terms. Give words plentiful haste. Other business calls this day. Yeah. For sure. Hmm. Yeah, that's improving. Greetings. Now speak plainly, for we are an honest folk and value honesty in others. They don't want trade, I guess. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Nope. We have need of talk, I'm sure. <clears throat> Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. <laughs> no. Like that. Not right. Mm -hmm. Send the turn. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, let let it be bankruptcy then. Well, I think the Huns will, yeah, do nasty stuff now. Yeah, here it comes. Oh. Interesting.
<laughs> well, uh, I think I'm going to fight that one because um, I actually got them to. I pissed them off by attacking them uh, here with with Ivar, and then I withdrew him so he would be close both to my uh, navy led by Alf, but also close to the Varinians and now they actually uh, attacked. Yeah! So I think I'm going to fight this just to uh, just no! hoping that the Varinians will somehow take out some of the Hunnish no! forces so that I can attack the Huns again after that with my <clears throat> two other armies. It could be pretty interesting. Let's do it. And um, let's have a battle, the Battle of Rukian. I don't know how this ends. As uh, the prediction was pretty bad for us. So Oh, but you never know. I, I think they will wipe those uh, armies from the Varinians. <laughs> Start the battle. Well, um, yeah. Definitely place him here for sure. Where um, my allies will at least one army will come from here and then uh, out here we will get my sm very small fleet. Let's have a shortcut here, uh, shift F9, and let's start the battle. And uh, reinforcing troops, and not a moment too soon. Well, <laughs> ready and waiting. Yeah, who knows? Let's send them here. Probably. Oh my god, the shepherds of the eternal sky. Wow. No, it's not the time to. <laughs> Closer, isn't it? Is it all? Are they moving? I could have. Yeah, I don't know. Honey glances. Hmm. 
where are they going? I would be there also. Get running! <laughs> the yeah. enemy has engaged our ally! Second wind. Well, it's 20% fatigue early, but at least better than nothing. Guards, protect us! No raiders, raiders, wow. Yeah, they're just going to be. Just... Yes. 